Hey guys, it's Jessie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're at a bit of an awkward angle because like I'm trying to block off all of my bookshelves but I don't think there's any space in my room where I can do that. But this is the main one that we're going to be blocking off. But basically today we're doing a really fun video because I'm basically getting new bookshelves. Um, obviously I'm filming this afterwards but yeah, I have been running out of space in my like half billy here. Um, so I needed to get a full one, which again, don't look. Um, I needed to get a full one and that is what I did um you know this weekend for this video so in this video you're going to see me building organizing and then doing like a mini bookshelf tour we're going to turn you here just so you really can't see we'll just go with my old bookshelves it's fine um yes yeah, so i'm basically reorganizing all of my bookshelves building a new one and kind of designing it aesthetically i guess like with books facing outwards different stacks rather than just all my books in one place um kind of like lined up and yeah it's basically that is what we're going to be doing today i really hope you guys do enjoy this video i am obsessed with my new bookshelves i'm looking at them now i think they look incredible so yeah i really hope you guys do enjoy and yeah let's just get straight into it okay so the angle lighting setup etc isn't ideal but um this is basically the evening uh before i get my bookshelf so i want to be like extra prepared so it doesn't take me ages tomorrow and i don't get burnt out but i'm basically going to take everything off this billy because i am needing to remove a shelf and um, because this is set up for three tiers of paperbacks and one tier of hardbacks and um, my new shelf i will need an extra shelf for and this is just going to be tbr besides the top shelf i believe so what i'm going to do is take everything off and um, create the shelf i think i will change it but i'll remove it around so the top shelf is the largest so i can put um some of my favorites on there and then i will also organize so that my favorite shelf um like i'll have all the books i want to go on there and then just piles of books that i'm going to put on the other shelf so i'm going to fast forward through me taking all of these off because that is pretty boring and then i'm probably i don't know whether i'm going to organize my top shelf yet i'm not too sure but just uh kind of sort it out pop the tbr books on here if i can so yeah well let's get into it <laughs> I have now put up the shelves. This is what it is looking like on the shelf. Um, ignore this. I put it on wrong um, and it would take the whole thing being taken apart to redo it so we're just gonna get like um like an edging strip from being cute and we're gonna like put that on later so ignore that it will be fixed and i might put some fair lights over it if you can tell but you shouldn't be able to tell the difference so these are the shelves i'm not sure if they're 100 percent 100 percent all exactly the same size i know the top ones and the bottom ones are slightly bigger if you can see um and then yeah same for the bottom there um this shelf here is permanent it's like part of it and then I can kind of place these four shelves anywhere I want. So I've currently got it set out as kind of the height for like a regular hardback. If you guys can see, a regular hardback fits in there with a bit of a gap. Um, and then on the top shelf, it fits in with a much bigger gap. So I think 
I will in future get an extra shelf maybe. I think it would be nice to have maybe like just a shelf of paperbacks up at the top and then maybe I could sort out the spacing in other ways as well. I'm not too sure. But this one in the middle being kind of solid firm with it is a little bit tricky. I do also have here technically an extra shelf. This is meant to just have three shelves. And I think because like look this is like just paperback size. Whereas in here a paperback has a decent amount of space at the top. If you can see. Anyway. I'm also still debating what I want to do. Here I've currently got. So there's like books there that I haven't even hauled yet. They're all unread. This top shelf is my favourites. And then down here is all unread as well. And I was thinking of putting all my read books just on these shelves here. I don't think we'll fill it out fully. I don't know whether to do a mix of read and unread or what really to be honest. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. So do let me know what you guys think. I do love having my shelves laid out kind of like this. With like books facing out and stuff. And I do think I'll do that for these shelves too. I'm just not too sure where and how. So what I'm going to do now is basically... I think I'm going to divide it up mainly by genres. I might do like a other favourites in the middle. I'm not too sure. Um, and I think I'll keep some unread at the bottom there. But yeah, I think I'm going to also put like a little bean bag here so I can make a little nook. And I do have space for another shelf here if I needed one. So yeah, I'm just going to put the books on and then we're going to start to organise, I guess. For my weekend, I'll lay away. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, so it's a few days later now and I think my shelves are kind of as done as they will be um, because obviously once I get more books I will need to organise them further but I thought I would just give you a quick overview of the final project, final shelves I guess, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm going to do a full uh, bookshelf tour with like every book in detail um, at a later date, maybe in a few weeks. But firstly, here are what the final shelves look like. So these are obviously, this is my main kind of red books bookshelf. So on this top shelf we have have romance um, a couple of like my favorite covers and more favorite books faced outwards um, a kind of stack of like you know the TikTok viral ones and then some series is kept together then this next shelf is um, kind of thrillers into mystery into horror again some of my favorite books slash covers facing outwards um, and yeah I really like these top two shelves and here is my favorite shelf I did move it from my um, shelves here this is now just a TBR shelf and I put my favorites on here this is my favorite shelf obviously like it's my favorite shelf but it's also my favorite shelf of like design wise um so yeah i love that one then these two bottom shelves i feel like aren't quite as perfect as i've liked them but i don't have enough books for the genres because obviously these are organized by genre so we've got young adult here i haven't read these final two in the inheritance game series but i want to keep the series all together same with shatter me i haven't read these last two i've got these kind of stacked upwards because i think it looks quite nice and then literally just extra books here to be honest an extra thriller that doesn't fit on this shelf graphic novel non-fiction and like a poetry book and then finally this bottom shelf is kind of literary fiction just kind of random bits to be honest we've got legends and lattes here and then kind of like weird books into dystopian into general fiction and romance into historical fiction and then kind of translated books short stories and yellow face there this bottom shelf i've just got two of my lonely planet books two tbr books that don't fit on my tbr shelf and my wrapped up books for when i blindly pick my tbr and then i've got this shelf here which is now a full tbr shelf so i've not read any of these books embarrassing i know so it kind of goes almost in order of most anticipated 
wanted to least anticipate it, I guess. So I've got some hardbacks at the top and then books I'm really, really keen to read. The second shelf is also books I'm keen to read, plus my classics here. And then we've kind of got like extra books here at the bottom. Sorry about the mess here. But yeah, these are just kind of additional books here. So yeah, this is my TBR shelf. And then over here, I have my non-fiction unread books on this top shelf here. I have my monthly TBR, what I have left of it to read on this bottom shelf, and then this middle shelf, as well as like just a kind of random, I don't know, almost like a junk bin type thing, just like random bits that I organise there. Um, I have kind of like additional books that I'd like to get to this month if I can. So yeah, these are the three locations that I'm keeping books in my room, and I am super happy with it. So yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy seeing me building and organising my new bookshelves. I am absolutely obsessed with them, especially this one, these top three shelves. I like my favorite thing ever so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys did enjoy if you did don't forget to give it a like down below hit subscribe turn the bell turn a little club and make sure you turn on all notifications then you'll be notified every single time i post a new video if you want to watch more of my other videos there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as i did learning top in the classroom earlier so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye